have a second presentation. We do. The second presentation is an excellent example of humanity by one of our firefighter paramedics who displayed exceptional character, humility, and provided care beyond the call of duty. At this point, we'd like to ask the members of Fire Station 10 to please join us near the podium. Now, the incident took place on March 26, 2018. Rescue 10 was dispatched to a reported fall at the Expo Line platform on 23rd and Flower Street. And the victim was an 18-year-old male that was a special needs patient. He had been assaulted by some unknown individuals. They then also stole his bicycle and then threw the patient onto the light rail tracks. Now, firefighter paramedic Jack Alpert professionally and compassionately cared for the patient. And then during transport, he recognized that the patient was very upset and disconcerted over the fact that his bicycle had been taken. So after transporting to a local hospital, Mr. Albert was deeply concerned by the unjust incident and decided on his own that he would attempt to replace the bicycle. So Rescue 10 drove to a local bike shop where they purchased a new bicycle and then drove back to the hospital and presented it. You could imagine the impact that had. Upon return to quarters, though, neither firefighter paramedic Albert nor his partner mentioned anything about this incident. The only reason we know of this story was about a month later, the patient's mother came by Fire Station 10 and wanted to know the names of the members that treated her son so professionally and even purchased a new bicycle. She informed the Fire Station members that her son was a special needs patient and was deeply touched by the treatment that he had received. So subsequently, Station Commander Eric Thompson wrote a detailed letter through channels uh, outlining Mr. Albert's admirable actions. And so Firefighter Paramedic Albert was not only modest and humble in never mentioning the events of that day, his actions truly represent our core values, particularly of service, professionalism, and integrity. Well done. Like I told the group uh, at the beginning of our meeting, I have uh, the great honor to represent the men and women of our department. And they do things like this every day. And they don't like to be uh, singled out. They don't like the attention. Jack's probably sweating coming to the podium right behind me. <laughs> but I think it's important that we highlight the special things that our people do. We have people up north fighting the Mendocino fire. Last year, we sent people to Houston. And we buy new bikes when we don't have to. I think that shows the character of Jack, uh, the heart that he has. And it's not the first time that I've heard stories like this. But I, I want to take the time to recognize them to praise them, to let them know what right looks like when we can make a difference in somebody's life. It may not seem like a big deal, but the rewards are tremendous. So Jack, here's your moment. I'm gonna give you the mic. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, sir. Uh, just want to say thank you for the recognition and thank you for my crew and my family for supporting me. Thank you. Great, thank you.